Welcome to the Temple of Perrin, which is in no way hinting at the fact that it's all full of fire. Not in any way, shape, or form. Let's go. Here's our first puzzle. Not really a puzzle so much as it is just a uh, roll across. This is the first dungeon where we start getting actual sort of puzzles about where we can go and things we can do. Now, this is one of the chests I think that I thought we were going to get in the previous dungeon under Valua. I think there's something in here. Yep! These guys are a pain in my ass. But I don't think they do anything until they have a target search around. So let's everyone focus. I may quickly come to regret this. Tremble means it's going to do something very painful this round. I can't remember whether it's worth trying to take it out in this stage. Let's have Vice try it. Okay, that's good. You can cut this fury our way out of here. Ah! Okay, so they do have a regular attack. I forgot that. Okay, this guy's next. Please have enough. Yes! Oh, I don't have enough. Because they do this after they tremble. So you don't really want to be standing around letting them do that. At least Fina's quickly getting caught up with us. Hey, some gold. Right. Not too worth, uh, not too worth healing Vice up yet. I don't need to get too attached to the idea of keeping everyone at 100% health, as long as I can get them close to it. All of sloping downwards. There's a moonfish over there. Not entirely sure. Maybe we can get it from down there. I'm surprised we've not had any more fights yet, other than that one chest fight. Way too high up. 
got to get him from that pathway. Also, for some of this red hot, there's a lot of water around here. Here's a fight. Oh, God, these guys again. Oh, they're yellow. Oh, they're green and blue. I thought everything in here would be red. Ah, well, this guy's going to be a pain in the jacksie to take out. Oh. The battlefield is already full, so. I don't think this is going to. This is, I don't think this will succeed for any of them. Oh. It's going to be one of those fights, putting people to sleep. Damn it. Tag Nabbit. That's handy. This will wake Fiend up anyway, so that's good. Drilling, I think, lowers attack power. Yep. Not that Fina had any attack power to begin with. That also woke Vice up. Okay, yeah, so we're going to get a magic turn, I think. A, a magic defending turn. A Delta Shield is the word I'm looking for. Although I may just Alpha Storm everyone again. Oh, come on, this is so annoying. I don't remember them being this annoying early on before. Ah, missed. Well, no effect on us all. Yeah, you better run. I wonder if he was guarding. So he didn't really seem... I suppose he's had his attack power reduced. So funny. 14 damage. Is it over already?
could really use some Sacrum crystals. Well, very interesting. Yeah, I'm going to cross back through here later on. these guys and the annoying thing is that I could really use Alpha Storm I guess probably should use Alpha Storm yes I can go back to ice keep you on red switch you to yellow as you use Alpha Storm on that and you and just guard. Ah, yes. Ah. Right, this side of the map is now getting very, uh, very thin. Dung. All right. So this will probably work now. Yep. Alpha Storm isn't going to isn't going to hit it. Oh, so close! Nearly took that one out. That's it. You lower our attack powers. It doesn't really matter because Fina's not doing a whole lot of attacking. I mean, she's mopping up the dead, really, is what she's doing. Oh. Excellent, we got. Oh, don't. Stop that! Oh, come on! Right, now Fina is the only one who can attack. Well, this will wake someone up at least. Better than dealing damage. Better than instant death. Don't do a huge amount. May have stoned him. Let's. Yeah. Make sure everyone's on the right uh, color now. Manipulate our magic experience a little. So that's back there. I guess there's two strategies to that fight. I mean, we could. Hmm. Actually, yeah, we'll go up this way because this isn't the progress way. This is just an exploring way, I think. I mean, you could use Delta Shield for the fight and stop them casting Slapara.
it. And just, you know, do very little damage each turn. With Delta Shield, I'm assuming one of these guys are going to use Perry at some point. May end up just being a waste of spirit. Ah! Magic? I was trying to do something. It'll never work. Sweet. Death with two Ts. Ah, did oh, Alpha Storm did absolutely nothing to the Looper, or the Looper Lawn. I guess you have to have the right colour affiliation to really be able to damage it. No, that was pretty easy. Ah, uh, yeah, you could use Delta Shield to stop them from casting Slurparo on your party all the time. And just rely on physical attacks to take them down. Or you could just power your way through with Alpha Storm all the time. Switch back to blue in a bit. Getting some experience for other colours is handy. There we go. The moonfish was cut. Yeah, I think up here is just another one of these chests. Oh, a fight first. Several charges, can be used more than once. Three or four charges. Yeah, let's use that, slot it. I'll try and catch as many of these guys in the crossfire as I can. This is not going to affect the loopers at all. Oh. Okay. <laughs> that was a bit more effective than I thought it would be. This isn't going to affect them. I could probably use to switch to blue for that to work. Try and hit them. Wait for them to just run away. Flee! That'd be so, so good if Fina hits. <laughs> it's, it's embarrassing being taken out by Fina from full health as well. Magic stats. So, someone on blue, I guess, would be good. Definitely vice on blue for this next fight. Because we're going to come up against the three of these guys again. The Magma Tiki's. I always thought it had a funny name. I didn't know Tiki was actually a word when I was much younger. Everybody focus first turn. Wait for them to use Tremble. 
and pray that two people don't use tremble at once. Okay. Regular attack. Misses. Good. Okay. So guy on the right. Trembled. Oh god, guy in the middle trembled. Okay. <sighs> right. Can't use Reign of Swords yet. Go for a guaranteed kill. And everyone guards. Yeah, Vice took a kick in on that one. 193. Go for the other guy doesn't use tremble. Focus to use Cutlass Fury on the next turn. It'll get to a stage where I will always be able to use Cutlass Fury right off the bat if I want to. Excellent. Missed. We are not at that stage yet. Eh, just have you guard. Don't want you getting counter attacked. <laughs> An ancient rube. I meant to hit that one. I have a feeling this is equipment for you. Nice magic defense. Don't really use Fina for fighting, so... So worried about not having the accuracy. Okay. It's very Indiana Jones, isn't it? Now we come to a puzzle. First proper puzzle, we have to get these into the holes. That's actually a really easy one. There's a more complicated one later on. And of course if you fail it, you can always leave the room and come back. Not the most difficult puzzle in the world. That's advice, just you run through those flames. Make sure there are no charms up here. Here we go. It's the next part of the dungeon. Another big steep hill. Okay, we're gonna have a number of rooms here. All of these chests and magma tikis.
Now that I know that Cutlass Fury can kill these guys in one hit, um, I don't need to get have these guys guard against the lava thing every turn. Oh, sweet. Alright, so he's going to use Tremble. Tell me the other guys using Tremble. Thank God for that. Ooh, that's a powerful hit. Uh, can anyone remember which guy was the one who used Tremble? I think it was this guy. And you guys can focus. Make sure we get enough spirit to cut this fury the next turn too. Most guys use Tremble. We'll come back to you later. defense at all. Sacrese crystals. Excellent. I'm going to need some of those soon. In fact, I'm going to need one of them now. And a Sacrese crystal. In fact, I've got 25 magic droplets. I'm probably not going to use too much magic in fights. So let's do that. Makes sense, doesn't it? And more magma tiki, so everybody focus. Wish you could skip the focus animation. Fina will be alright as long as they don't all gang up on her. Okay, so left most guy attacked. And got countered for his troubles. Right most guy attacked. Middle most guy attacked. Okay. Another round of focusing. I have a plan in mind. I'll show you guys something you've not seen yet in this playthrough. One guy using tremble. Uh, one guy attacking. What? Didn't think Vice had taken that much damage. Two guys using tremble. However, shall we counter this? Vice, Rain of Swords! And just in case that's not good enough, you two guard. Rain of that may not have been enough. Although I think it was that guy at the left who used Tremble, so... Oh, no, it wasn't. It was this guy. Okay. That was supposed to be really impressive. I know that it kind of failed. Oh, you are getting your ass cutless fury next time, mate. I know it's kind of overkill.
I like that we seem to have priority here. Just sign your own death warrant, mate. Guard. Quickens up the battle. Yeah, I thought uh, Reign of Swords would be a bit more impressive. That wasn't so bad. Sure, I remember doing more damage. But we will continue this adventure on the next episode. Everyone's learning magic. See you guys next time.